All right, here we go. So basically, we put our ribs, lamb, and chicken in the oven with our mayonnaise and everything. As I say, this is gonna be on for about an hour, an hour and a half. We'll soon tell. Right, so we're gonna do now our starter. I've put approximately about maybe half a cup, maybe a little bit more of extra virgin olive oil in a wok. Now, I've already pre-done some fresh garlic, which is here, which I've chopped up, and the little tip I showed you to do it in the microwave. And we have got some um, garlic puree. Now, we don't need much garlic puree because it's salty, and the reason why is, this is gonna do for homemade garlic bread. So all I'm gonna do is a good squeeze. That was There we go. Fresh garlic. A slice chopped up. Half an handful. There we go. And we'll put the rest of the garlic over here. Because we are doing, as I said, cheesy garlic mushroom. So we'll put that there. Now, we're gonna put our wheat on. There we go. I'm just gonna feel this walk so it's on properly. Sometimes you don't get your hands like that, but if you've got eyesight, you can see it. I've got a little spatula. Here we go. I'm just gonna eat this up so it goes and disperses all the flavours into all our oil. Didn't take that long. I've got it on high. As I said, because what happens is the reason I put that much oil in, your garlic bread is going to absorb all this oil, which is good for you. And you need it now to start the sizzle. There we go. Right, I'm going to turn that off straight away. That's hot enough because you've got to think. I've got a tray here as well. I go for the bread. That oil is going to be very hot. So, normal sliced bread. Now, what I usually do, if it's, you've got a couple of slices left. It's not green mold, it's nothing. It's, it's a little bit what you call, um, before it goes out to date, may I say. Now, I like this because it's easy to use. So, all I'm going to do, put my bread on there. Slice of bread, dip it in the oil. There we go. Both sides. Let it drain a little bit. Be careful if it is hot. Let it drain, stop it. Right, straight in your tray. There's one. As I say, this is going for four portions. There we go. Dip it in. Be careful, it is hot. There's two. Here it is, as your third, so on and so forth. Before there's just enough oil left. Just enough oil in the pan. Sometimes you're going to add a little bit more, but you'll learn as you go on. I've got all that oil out of there in that bread. Me little bits of garlic, what's left in the pan, is going to come useful. There we go, there's that. Simple as. I've got my sink full of hot water to wash one's hands. Now that is going to go in the oven. As I say, we've got our meat on the top shelf. That's just going to go on the bottom. There we go. There's that. And we've got our wok. If you want a tiny little bit more oil, just a little wok. Not much. It's a little bit like that. It's all we need. A couple of tablespoons. Right now, we've got here a nice bowl of button mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms, but I like button mushrooms because the simple reason is it looks more presentable. And all you've got to do is just wash them if you don't like chopping. They're going straight in the wok, like that. There we go. We'll put that on there and move that. 
Now we're going to put these mushrooms on our gas now. There we go. And the simple reason is we're going to slowly cook these mushrooms. So the garlic, what's left in there, we're going to add some more. There's our bowl. There's about a bowl left. Put it in. There we go. I'm just going to cook these, so all the garlic and everything and the oil goes into the mushrooms. Right, while that's cooking, what I've got over here is a jug. That is cheese sauce. One thing I need to put the kettle on. So here we go. One kettle water in. There we go. While that's boiling, it's back to our old pan. That's it. Oh. If there was smell of vision, these would smell lush. All I've done is put one in there. You can feel the bottom of the pan. You can feel it with a spatula. Right there. I'm going to go off. If you don't want to burn, you die in the bottom of your wok. And you don't want to put extra oil in this little makeup too. I would say too greasy. There we go. So we're swimming for our kettle now. cheese. You can buy the grated cheese or you can grate it yourself. It's just normal cheese we can get anywhere. It's all it is, just being grated. So you can buy bags of already grated cheese if you want. Stay for our kettle, which is really good. Let's check that again so they're not sticky. You can always add more in, but you can never take it out. That's what the old man always used to say. <laughs> so how many pints of water would you say? Pints of water, I would say it was a pint there. Okay. Yeah. I would say a pint of water. Because obviously, we, as I said, we don't want for four portions. I know this video might take a little bit longer as what you think, but obviously, if you don't want for a blind and explain it to people, it does have its little sort of little things. Right, this cheese sauce is going to go straight into the wok. Like that. Go. There might be a little bit left in your jug or whatever. Just leave it on the side because the kettle is going to go in there. The water on the kettle. 
Right now, I'm going to put our gas back on. Because the mushrooms are not fully cooked. I've just literally... Literally, literally, just we need this to hold it up a little bit to put the rest of our mushrooms and garlics in there. That's how simple it is. With a little tip for people when you're taking anything out of an oven, use a dry tea towel or uh, an oven glove because if you use a wet one, you're going to get burnt. Right. Garlic bread. It's starting to get a little bit. Let's turn that tray around. Back in the oven. Just put that in there. Start the bubble. And turn the heat down. And they're just going to simmer. Leave them to simmer. Cheese sauce, just a, just normal cheese sauce. What you, as I say, what you can get. That's simmering nicely, and it's going to cook the mushrooms as well while we're waiting for our garlic bread. And there's another little tip: add, if you like, a little bit of double cream, and it makes it that little bit creamier. Which I am going to do, but not yet. Just going to let that simmer. You can feel, you can feel how soft they're getting just by the spatula. That is literally the smell. Honestly, it is. Lisa, could you go in that fridge, please, and get me that cream off? I think it's on the top shelf. Middle, bottom. I'm sorry about that. Lovely. Double cream. Do the shave. Don't have to have that much. Oh, that. There we go. Showing in. Lovely. Put that there. Here we go. Nice step. Look at that, it's all nice. You don't have to use button mushrooms, you just use sliced mushrooms. But I think it's more presentable with button mushrooms. That is on low. Right. I say I haven't got own gloves, I used to eat ours. So we know it's posh some people. Right, here we go, this is our garlic bread. Now that, it just wants a flick over. There's one, there's two, wash your hands, watch your hands. Three, four, done. Back in the oven, a couple of minutes. Well, that's cool, then. What I'm gonna do, let's get a couple of more. There we go, just remove these. I have got cheese here if I wanted to add it, but it is okay, it's nice and thick. The reason is I've done extra cheese in case I put too much water in what we all made mistakes. There we go. Four balls. Back onto the pan. That is cooked. Simple as. We're going to turn it off. There we go. The time I dish this out with a spoon. Which I will get. Can I have one of them silver bowls, Lisa? Over there, please. Over there, there. To me. What? You're over there, look. Straight to the left hand side of the fridge. Big silver spoon. Thank you, help. One bowl. Oh, 
as I say, you share it out as whatever you do. There we go. One ball. There we go, Lisa. There's one for you. Now, I'm just going to get you your toast now. Obviously, we're not proper kitchen, we're not this, we're not that, we just do what we do. Why not? That's, uh, everything's raw. There we go, there's our toast. It's one of them. Nice and crispy. Piece of toast. On there. If you want to slice it now, please do so. There you go, Lisa. Try that. Thank you, Gary. Looks, that. looks amazing. Damn it, try it. <laughs> Go in the air. <laughs> One spoon. Thank you. And one nice common spoon. Thank there we you go. Very much. Just your portions out as you want. Bit hot. <laughs> How simple was that to make? How easy? I'm not on you. You was the chef. How simple was that to make? Dead easy. <laughs> you was the least of that one in the guinea pig. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Hot, but amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. Is it nice? Beautiful. How's the mushrooms? Tasty. Tasty. Right. Lovely. And that's just a starter. What's oh. it took me? About 10 minutes, something like that. But if it's all prepared, all done. There you go. It's all done with. Try it at home. Why not? That's just a starter. Then we've got our meat sort of mixed grill left. <laughs>